guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you are new, my name is Johnny, if you do not know me. Before we get started, I wanted to go and apologize for my background. I'm redoing my bedroom right now, so I just have not put any effort into like putting anything on the walls or anything. So, just wanted to have to pop that in. Today I wanted to go ahead and do the video that you've probably seen a thousand times, but it's basically just showing how I was able to do my phone um, in the like aesthetically pleasing way. Um, I'm obsessed with this update. This is with iOS 14, so you're able to do the different like personalizations and whatever, so you can like add widgets and have like all of all of your information how you want to have it as well as organize it how you want to. So. Yeah, I'm just super obsessed. I love this. I think it's so like calming to look at. So we're just gonna run through the apps that I do have like on my actual home screen and then I'll explain to you how I did it and then also um, like where my other apps are at. So starting at the top, you do have my calendar. So this is from, I got this actually from an app called Widget Smith as you can see. So basically Widget Smith, which I'll show you in a second, allows you to kind of customize your widgets whatever you want to be and then also whatever colors you want so i'll show that in a second but that's what i have right now it's just like a cream and white color which i love so then we have facebook uh gmail instagram facebook messenger photos snapchat spotify td bank tiktok twitter my wallet for like my cards and stuff for apple pay also my cat's eating at the moment so i'm so sorry if you can hear that and then i have whatsapp um, down at the bottom, I have phone, messages, Chrome, and camera. So all basic stuff, but it's the stuff that I would grab, like, pretty much on the daily. Most of the stuff I would try, or I would be using on a daily. Um, and then we also have another Widget Smith, like, widget. Um, and I just put a quote in there, step by step, day by day. Super important to me in my life right now. Yeah, that was super quick. Um, we've literally been filming for three minutes, and I've already messed up, and... So <laughs> that was a very quick, but that's what I wanted was something very simple and very, just like I said, like the things that I use and not like a bunch of extra. Now, if we go ahead and get into where the other apps are. So iOS 14 has this new thing called an app library, I believe. So we'll swipe over to the, from the right to the left. Um, yeah, so this is the app library. So it has actually all of the apps that are on your phone in general that you want on your phone, but in these folders. So instead of actually having them on your home screen and having to go through all of them and not have it like as organized, it has them all through here. So you can actually click like, recently added, right? So it has all of my recently added apps, which Hilton Experian are not recent. So anyway, has all of these recently like added apps and stuff. Like I said, it just kind of keeps them organized in their own subcategories. You don't have to actually look through them, which is amazing. You can actually just like click on app library and start typing. And it of course has them listed here as well. So that's even better. Then if you wanna learn, there's Fainty. If you wanna learn like actually how to do this, it does take a little bit of time. I saw the videos and I'm like, oh, this took me like three hours and five hours and stuff. And I was like, I'm not spending five hours on my phone. It's been about three to four, just because I really wanted a specific aesthetic. And so that's what I went for. If we go over to like, I don't even know what this screen is actually called but it's like your launch screen, I think, or something like that. Um, it's basically where you swipe from the left to the right. But if you go up to the top and you click on search, you can actually type in shortcuts. So from here, this is actually where you're able to make all of your, like I have them, you know, all these color coded and stuff um, to different things that I want. And you can do images, you can do, um, I know some people are using like Instagram covers and stuff to kind of like have like a picture like if it was like phone they have a picture of a phone or whatever. If we go back we type in shortcuts we click on shortcut then we're going to go um, up to the top and we're going to click the plus button and we're going to click the circle with the three dots next to it and we're going to say like we'll just do test and then we're going to do add to home screen and then you click on the picture thing. And this is where you can like either take a photo or you can um, just choose from your like camera roll. So if you decided to do that, you would just go down through your camera roll and click add. And then you're gonna click up in the right hand corner and click on add. So it's added to my home screen. And then you click done. Then you click add action. So this is where you're gonna be able to see all of your 
um, like different actions that you're able to do. So basically what this is going to do is it's creating a shortcut. But if you want it to be able to open an app, you just click on scripting. And then you go to the option that says open app. And then you're going to go to choose. And then you're going to scroll down through here and let's say I want it to be like 1-800 contacts. So click that, click done. And see it's up at the top so it says test. And then all you're going to do is, you'll see it actually on your screen. Now mine are all on my home screen and stuff, but you know, you can obviously move your apps around, but you click on new shortcut, takes you there, and then it automatically takes you to 1-800 contacts. So there is like a little bit of a lag, but I don't mind that and a lot of other people don't. And so like for instance, if we click on like Facebook, it takes me there and then it takes me over to my actual Facebook page. So it's really cool, it's really simple, it doesn't take a lot of time. I mean, it definitely can depending on how many apps you want to do it with, but like I said, I kept mine pretty simple, easy, whatever. So that's how to create the actual apps and stuff. It's like I said, you can either upload it, like save a picture to your uh, camera roll and then just go ahead and do it through there or you have the option to be able to, like I said, just take a picture or whatever you want to do for it. Then if we go to for the actual widget smith, so for me, I already have the top one. I have the widget smith of the calendar and then I also have the quote, which you can take. It's kind of the same thing as far as the apps go. You're able to either like upload a picture that you already have where you can actually take a picture. So if you want to actually add, once you download the app Widget Smith, you can go ahead and hold down on your apps and you're going to do edit home screen. Sorry, my cat. And then up in the right hand corner or the left hand corner, you're going to see the plus sign. So you're going to click on the plus and you're going to scroll down through here and you're going to go to the very bottom that says Widget Smith. And then you have the option to add a small Widget Smith, which is what I use for my quote a medium one, which is what I use for my calendar, and then you have a large one, which I don't use because it's so big, um, but you can add whatever you want to that. So let's say we wanna add another medium one. So we're gonna do add widget. Now typically it won't show up this like cream color, you have to actually edit it, but because I already have one in there, it's doing that. So once it's actually on your home screen, you're gonna go ahead and click the done button. And then in order to edit it, you're going to tap on it and then you're going to go down to the bottom that says widgets and you're going to click on that and then you're going to scroll down through here and you're going to see where it says like medium widget. So I have the small three, which is my quote, and then I have the medium one, which is my calendar. So in order to edit it, you're just going to tap on it, tap again, and then you can scroll down through here and actually pick whatever one you want. So if you just wanted the time, a clock, the date, whatever. You can also add like a photo. You can have like revolving photos. So if you want it to kind of change, um, I don't know how often it changes, but it changes like pretty frequently. So you can have like, if you wanted like for my aesthetic or whatever, like the creams and the browns or whatever, you can find images that are like creams and browns. And it's just like an ever changing slideshow essentially for your phone. So it's really cool. You can put pictures of your friends and your family, your pets, whatever. Um, and then you do have like the paid for prescription subscription which is like weather and stuff but I'm not gonna pay for it for one and two I don't care about it um, and then if you want to actually like edit the colors and stuff so you can go to the font you can choose your font so the different types of font that they have you can see how they vary then you have the tint color which is the actual text um, so you can choose any type of color that you want for your text and then you also have the option to do the background color so you can scroll down through here if you like the browns or the pinks or whatever, you just tap on it, go back, hit save, go back here and you can see both of them have turned brown. So if you wanted two separate ones, two separate colors, like on two separate pages, you would just add in the different widget and then you can move it over, but then you just edit the one that you're wanting to have a different color, if that makes sense. I'm gonna change this though, cause it's not cute. So anyway, yeah, you guys, it's so easy, it's so cool. I love that we're able to customize our iPhones now just because of the fact, I'm sorry, I'm looking down, but I have to change this, it's hideous. Um, <laughs> because of the fact that it just kind of makes it more customizable for us. I love that option. And just being able to have like whatever we want on our phones and stuff, I think it's just really cool. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I know this was a super fast video and I kind of went really fast, but I have people coming into my apartment today to kind of do like, I don't know, an inspection or something. Um, of my HVAC system, so I wanted to get this filmed and I want to go ahead and get it edited real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and upload it, so yeah, that's kind of why I was going so quickly with it, but 
yeah you guys it's really cool um there's tons of these videos on youtube so if you have a certain type of aesthetic you can obviously look that up but this kind of like layout will work for anything people have pages where they have like one page that's yellow and then the next page is orange and the next page is green or whatever so yeah just really cool definitely customizable however you want whatever fits best for your lifestyle so i hope you guys enjoyed this video today and hopefully you got some useful information please consider liking and subscribing the video it really helps me out a ton as i'm trying to grow this channel all of my socials are linked down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video i will see you guys on sunday and i hope you enjoy the rest of your week bye